Hey guys, John here. In this video, we are installing the carbon exhaust onto my 2022 Toyota Tundra. So guys, I'll leave the link down in the description for discount code, the link to the product, and also carbon exhaust installation video. They do a full in-depth awesome video. So they were awesome enough to send this out to me for a full unbiased review. So I'm gonna install it into the truck. I have a bunch of before clips and I will also do some after clips and then I'm gonna drive it around for a little bit too to develop a good opinion on what I actually think about the exhaust system. So here's what it looks like in the packaging, guys. Pretty nice and packaged up. Got a bunch of foam, thick exhaust. I have to clean that up a little bit. Styrofoam, all the hardware and stuff seems like in here. Scan me, installation video. So like I said, they have a full in-depth video, so that's pretty cool. Scan it and it'll take you to their video. And then here's a look at our new muffler. Holy smokes, this thing is a lot smaller than the other ones. So I've heard these on Instagram. Uh, obviously, Instagram doesn't do anything justice with their videos, nor, nor will my video probably do it justice. So I'm excited to see how this thing sounds. So now taking a look at our new muffler, that's all we got. So it's really a clear, straight pipe. So hopefully it'll allow for some very good airflow but yeah, that's all we got to just muffle the sound of this twin turbo V6. And taking the muffler out, we got their brand engraved on the side. So I got the OEM tailpipe out and a quick little hack if you guys are doing this on the floor because of the bend right here, just go ahead and get your floor jack. And if you can put it on the frame rail there to jack up the front side of the truck and that'll allow travel to go a bit in the rear end so you can get it up over the rear axle. So I'm gonna take this off right here at the Y pipe and then I'll go ahead and take it off on that side since there doesn't seem to be one right here, but I just want as least stress on the front as possible. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take this one off first and then that one over there and then take the original muffler out. So now we got the old exhaust out. Look how fat this muffler is. And then you got the secondary muffler and then you have the carbon exhaust right there. And of course, we have to start it with just the cat. So we're gonna go ahead and start it. Okay. Okay, so everything's back in the truck. I'm about to put the spare tire up. And one thing to note before you install everything, guys, make sure you get some isopropyl alcohol because your fingerprints, I'm just gonna use the old exhaust for reference. But when handling all this stuff, your fingerprints and oils are gonna get all over it. And then when you have your first start, you don't want your nice carbon exhaust to have fingerprints on it once it heats up. So I just used some isopropyl alcohol, cleaned all of it up, tightened it all up. My neighbors probably hate me, but it's time to start it. So initial startup is pretty loud. Hopefully it tones down a little bit. I am in a garage. So in all fairness, but that idle. The idle sounds actually pretty good. I like that. You put it in the gear, like in the drive. Ooh, that's a nice rumble. That's actually a nice rumble. Go ahead and leave.
Well, as always, cameras and mics never do anything justice, but we're in a parking garage. <laughs> kind of sounds a little bit like a Ford Raptor. So if you guys hear Ford Raptors zipping around and stuff with their exhaust that they have on it, it kind of sounds like that, honestly. Like. <laughs> okay, all right, enough of that. We're rolling up the windows. All right, so how's it inside the cab? Well, I wanted to wait about a month. I think it's been about a month since I installed this exhaust in the Tundra to really develop a good feeling about it because the first couple weeks when you first install like an intake exhaust, at least for me, in a vehicle, you hate it. If, if you like loud noises, then you like it, I guess, but for me, the Tundra was so quiet, I enjoyed hearing the turbo noises and having this carbon exhaust took honestly a little bit of getting used to. This was really loud when I first installed it on the Tundra. I loved hearing the turbo noises, the throatiness of this V6, yes it is not the V8, but it's had a nice little like growl to it that I really enjoyed. Fast forward, put the carbon exhaust on, started it up, holy crap, it was loud. Driving it, honestly 2000 RPMs when I first had this thing on obnoxious it, it was very obnoxious like bleh, just this bad sound i didn't like it carbon exhaust being the awesome company that they are letting me be fully transparent with you guys was like if you want to say you don't like it then go ahead because there are some people that install exhaust on their trucks and they love it so just give them full transparency well now after having it for a month and that's why i wanted to wait it doesn't bother me at all. It really does not bother me at all. I actually like hearing the growl, the idle that this exhaust has is freaking awesome. Anything above 2200 RPM and below 2000 RPM, I like about this exhaust system. So, I mean, when you're cruising with it, I don't get up to crazy highway speeds here in the area that I live at, 65, 70, maybe the most. It, it doesn't drone that much. There is an exhaust note there, but it is not overly drony to the point where it is annoying, kind of like the TRD exhaust on my 4Runner. This, because the exhaust is way out in the back, you're in the cab, you just hear it kind of like, like a little hum. It is nothing obnoxious, nothing crazy. Now there have been some people on Instagram that have texted me back and forth. They say that they love the exhaust, but when they tow with it, it's kind of annoying. That makes sense because your truck is going up and down RPMs, trying to shift gears, you're hauling a load behind you, so maybe I wouldn't recommend this system if you plan on towing, but honestly, that's how any exhaust system is. But for me, let's take a listen real quick. We're about to accelerate to get onto our highway. So that's 2000 right there. And it's not as bad as it used to be, but it's pretty good. Now we're turning left. Three, 2500, back down to 2000, 2500. That's 2000. And then taking my foot off the gas, now that's 1300 RPM. So it does take honestly some getting used to, but that's why I wanted to give it a full month of actually driving it instead of giving you guys my thoughts and opinions on it literally two days after I put it on. Because if, if it was that, it would be a completely different video. I know that this Tundra platform is very new. I know there are multiple brands out there, Carvin, Magnaflow, Borla's coming out with some, Gibson, I think they have their own. Like tons of different exhaust companies are gonna try to make this V6 sound like a V8 uh, because this Tundra doesn't have a V8 anymore. So this one to me of everything that I've heard, granted again, microphone, you're listening to it on a computer, home audio, whatever. It, it, it's good. I mean, it's very good. I like the raspy tone of it. If you like the way that the twin turbo Ford EcoBoost Raptor sounds, then personally, I feel like you're gonna like this setup. Put the pedal down. Give her the beans again. <laughs> yeah, that sounds really good. And now I'm cruising at 50. I hear the tires more than the exhaust right now. So guys, in conclusion, I'll do more updates as I keep this exhaust on the truck. If it starts to wear on me, bother me, anything like that, link and discount code down in the description if you guys want to see it for yourselves. Go over on Instagram, check out their page, 
they uh, they showcase a bunch of people all the time. So Instagram and your phone is not going to do it justice at all. You have to hear these in person, but to at least kind of gauge yourself to see if you like somewhat of the sound that it's putting out. But I, I can tell you this. If you know what a Ford Raptor sounds like with the EcoBoost, I know that I've said this multiple times. If you're kind of uncomfortable about what the truck is going to sound like, it is a louder Ford EcoBoost. Just think of that. Uh, think of a Ford Raptor ripping ass down the desert, something like that. And you're like, wow, that actually sounds good for a V6. That's what this sounds like. So guys, I will catch you in the next video. All right, see you later.